John Singer Sargent was born in 1856 and lived till 1925. He was an Italian-born American painter whose elegant portraits provided an enduring image of the Edwardian age in society. The wealthy and privileged on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean came to his studio in London to be immortalized. Sargent was raised abroad. He first saw the United States in 1876 when he first established citizenship. He was part of the Impressionist art movement. In 1879, Sargent traveled to Madrid to study the works of Diego Vasquez and to Harlem to see the works of Francis Halls. Some critics believe that his best work, executed in the rich dark palette, was done in the years immediately after this trip, including a series of paintings depicting daily labors in the Venetian working class. Okay, so we're going to create a self-portrait similar to Sargent. We're going to make it where we are drawing our person from head to toe. We want to be using shapes. For example, a circle for a head. I've added a neck, so it's like a square. I'm creating a rectangle for my body, which will be my shirt. I then make a very blocky V to create my pants. Once I've made my blocky V, it's kind of like two rectangles put together, I will then start to create some socks. And those are just a little tiny rectangle and an oval to create my shoes. I repeat this on the other side, creating symmetrical balance. That means it's the same on both sides. After I've done my shoes, I'm gonna go up and start to create the arms, creating a rectangle. First, I start off with my sleeve, and then I extend my arm, making my rectangle. I'll add five fingers. After I finish that, then I'm going to go to the other side and repeat the same process. Remember, I'm using symmetrical balance, the same on both sides. So if I have an arm on one side, I'm going to have an arm on the other. This is a self-portrait, so if you didn't have an arm on the other, and that was you, but then you'd probably wouldn't draw that. But remember, we are making ourselves. A self-portrait means to create yourself. After I finish my body, I'm gonna to start to create the eyes. I'm making half circles on the side of the head for my ears, a letter C for the nose. Then I start to create my eyes. I normally make a horizontal line and then upside down letter U to make an animate looking eye. I then start to add another circle inside that for the color part of my eye and a circle inside that for the pupil which is the black part of my eye. After I've done that I make a smiley face which is basically a letter U. I like to add a tongue and sometimes teeth in there. Then I'm going to start to form the hair. Now remember, it's a self-portrait, so it shouldn't be looking like my hair. It should look like your hair. Remember, you are creating you. Once you've done that, you're going to then sketch out a background, thinking about how can you tell a little bit of a story about you. I have my dogs, Indiana and Lightning. We're in the park. We're... Then you can kind of see how I've added some trees, a lake, and the sun. This is a two-day art project. Today we are just sketching. Next week we will be coloring in. So take your time on your sketch. Think about your story. Think about your details. Do not feel rushed.